What's up food lovers? So today is a different sort of a video because I'm not going to cook one of my own recipes. What? But don't worry, I'm going to cook something, but it's somebody else's recipe because I have decided from time to time dedicate a video featuring a recipe of a hardworking food blogger slash cook slash anyone that inspires me on social media or anywhere else um, by giving them a little bit of a video space on my channel and for the first time I'm going to feature one of my oldest friends Amala Besekara at Tunapaha Diaries if you are familiar of his work on Instagram amazing but if you're not you don't know what you're missing so just go ahead and follow him on Instagram the link is in the description below you will be blown away because of his amazing photography skills when it comes to food and he always inspires me to take better pictures Thank you, Amal. And as a thank you, this video is going to feature one of his really great recipes that I got, you know, so much of drool. And um, this is going to be the strawberry crumble, which he cooked some time ago. I saw his Instagram stories and I went, oh my God, I need to cook this ASAP. So I'm going to do his recipe on this video i'm going to follow his recipe to the t i know i'm going to be blown away and i cannot wait so let's do this this strawberry crumble is super easy to make before you do anything weigh 125 grams of plain flour for the crumble and leave that in the fridge to cool down because I'm going to mix this cool flour with the cold butter so that the butter wouldn't melt. You don't want that. Next, I'm going to take a block of ice cold butter and then grate 113 grams of it into a cool empty bowl which I placed in the fridge before. I'm doing all of this so that the butter wouldn't melt. I just want cool cold butter in the crumble without melting. to get red, ripe, beautiful looking strawberries like these to get an amazing looking red color in the crumble. And I'm going to use 900 grams of it because that's what Amal used as well. And I'm going to remove the green part and cut the strawberries in half. and then place them in an oven proof bowl like this. Okay, we need to add some really nice flavors and sweetness into these strawberries and I'm going to add one third of a cup of brown sugar. Use a little bit more if the strawberries are too tart and one teaspoon of ginger powder because ginger pairs really well with strawberries and it did and one teaspoon of vanilla essence as well and I'm also going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch this is really important because this is what gives the strawberry crumble an oozy sticky syrupy texture and I'm also going to add juice of a half a lemon as well. And then put those gloves or not on and then just get in there and mix it really well. And then leave it aside and make the crumble. Also, do not forget to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius at this point. Amal's recipe calls for 25 grams of walnuts. I didn't have walnuts at home, so I decided to use some cashew nuts instead and I roughly chopped them. And the recipe calls for 25 grams of rolled oats. 
I use some instant oats instead and I also weighed some 150 grams of brown sugar as well. Okay, this is the most important part. Get the cool flour and the cold butter out of the fridge and then mix it into rough crumble. You need to coat the flour really well with the cold butter. Do not overdo this because the butter will melt and you don't want that. After that, add all the weighed ingredients. and mix everything into this beautiful crumble. And then take the crumble and start layering it from the middle. Leave a gap around so that you can see some beautiful bubbling action. Put the crumble in the preheated oven and bake for 30 minutes or until the top becomes golden brown. Guys, this is my favorite part. As I took the crumble out of the oven, everything smelled amazing. And then look at that bubbling action. So cool. Too beautiful to eat. After a couple of hours of very exciting shooting, I am absolutely uh, speechless because of this whole beautiful uh, red goodness. I mean, come on. Just going to have a piece with some vanilla ice cream. I want some of this crumble and some... There we go. Amal, this is for you. This is superb. Mm, the crumble is to die for. It works so well with the strawberries. The strawberry syrup is amazing with the ice cream as well. Such a light dessert to have after a heavy meal. You won't feel guilty. Amal, you're a genius. Thank you so much for watching that video guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking that button below and also the bell icon so you will never ever miss any of these videos ever again and also do cook and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below but also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, the links are in the description and I will see you soon alright?